Man, I sure hope you trust that I know what I'm doing. Because look at your car. <laughs> Ain't no turning back now. guys welcome back to the channel so on today's episode we're working on the door panels i'm gonna be showing you how to remove the window controls the wood grain and replace the factory inserts with custom inserts whether you want to do suede or uh, quilted fabric i am going to be doing quilted leather but same process regardless of what you're putting in there so the door panels themselves look pretty good issue is with the wood grain there's a nice crack in it and the chrome strip is dented at least on the driver door removing the door panels is pretty straightforward there's a screw here a phillips head screw here there's one behind this piece of plastic here there is one here, and then there's a series of screws underneath that you have to remove. All right, a couple of common things to expect when you are working on a GS300 door panel. This crack right here is common. You just wanna be very careful when you're taking it off not to rip that entire piece off. You can use epoxy on the back to repair this, or you can leave it the way it is. Just be careful when you're taking it off. All right. Once you have all the screws off, all you're gonna do, start at the bottom. You can use a pry tool or you can use your fingers. It doesn't matter. Put your finger between the door panel and the door. Gently pry. You hear the pops. Work your way around. Once you do that, you want to go up with the door panel. Slowly, gently, because remember, the cable that connects the door lock to the to the handle. It's kind of difficult to get to. You want to be careful not to rip it off. All right, I'm going to switch angles so I can show you better. This is what you're looking for. You want to be careful when taking it off so you don't break any of those plastic pieces. All right, I'm going to do my best. What you want to do is get a flathead screwdriver, a small one, and pop this out. Be careful not to break it. Bring it up. It slides right out. You see, that one did it on its own almost. Now let's work on the top. Again, you want to be very careful not to break it so flathead screwdriver on the back part and pry gently boom all right i gotta put the phone down in order to do this but it's not hard just be careful take your time okay so the rear door panel is similar you have this screw here two on the bottom and what you're going to do is pull up on your cigarette lighter
pull out the window controls. So you're gonna pull up and back to expose a screw here. And again, get your flathead screwdriver and pop the plastic piece out to expose a screw right there. All right, now that we have all the fasteners out, the door handle, or, or should I say the, the, the window controls out, you're gonna do the same thing that you did last time. Finger between the door panel and the door itself, pop. Be gentle, you'll hear those plastic pieces pop. And again, same process, pull towards you and up. Gently. Sometimes these little plastic pieces will come off in the door as opposed to on the door panel. It's not the end of the world. Just pop them off and put them back. All right, family, so we made the transition indoors. Okay, so I have the Aristo door panels here. The main difference between the Aristo door panels is the window control. This is what would be the passenger door in a GS300, but it's the driver door in the Aristo. So we're gonna need to swap the window controls. And I'm also going to do uh, our quilted leather inserts. All right, so I'll show you how to disassemble the door panel in order to do uh, the inserts. And I'll show you how to swap the window controls. First and foremost, you're gonna remove this foam backing. Once you do this, you're going to remove the screws. This is what holds the inserts and it's the same for the rear door panel. Now the rear door panel is actually, the insert itself is actually larger. I'll show you why that's important. So once you remove the screws, you're gonna pop these plastic tabs off. Unfortunately, you're not gonna be able to put them back. So what I do is I just use the same type of screws that go here. You just create your own holes and drive them back in. It's not necessary to do every one of them. I just make sure I catch each corner, all right? Once you do that, you're gonna remove the other screws, the screws that hold the window controls in. Now, if you notice here, there's a crack. So what you, you wanna be careful when you're taking this apart so that you don't pull it before you remove all the screws. There are quite a few screws. One, two, three, four, five. And there's one here that's kind of difficult to see. Make sure you get that one. Then you'll be able to slide it out. Now these screws here hold the wood grain on. You're gonna remove those as well because it comes. This, the, the, the wood grain itself overlaps the window controls. So you wanna remove this in order to remove this with ease. You might be able to do it without removing it. I don't think it's worth it though. Moving over to the rear. Again, you have these plastic pieces. You're gonna pop them off and replace them with screws when you go to put them back on. Now, I mentioned that the rear is larger. As you can see, the insert itself is larger and you have more 
plastic fasteners than you do on the front. So I make sure that I replace that with a screw, that with a screw, and you can do these two right here, or you can just do this one here. It really isn't necessary to put one here because there's a screw here that holds the door panel onto the door. But over to you on how you want to handle that. And as far as this is concerned, just spray some spray adhesive here and this foam padding will go right back. Now, you'll notice these tabs here. You're going to pry these tabs up so it can slide through the, the, the cardboard. Same on the front. And when we start replacing the fabric on the insert itself, you'll see why that's important. All right, here we go. All right, so we got the inserts out as you can see. Now it's time to get the fabric. Now the key with doing inserts is to ensure that all your pattern is going in the same direction. All right, so what you're gonna need to do is remove these little staples. Once you pop these staples off, you'll be able to remove the fabric. So there's a couple of ways you can do it. You can remove the fabric, lay it on top of your new quilted fabric and cut out the shape, All right? You can do it that way. I don't do it that way because the quilted fabric has foam on the back. So it, it might take up a little bit more space than the original. So I use the entire panel to cut out my shape. And this is our new door panel. See you again when it's back in the car.